first one is sweet sweet karma i was with a girlfriend for five years and was making plans to propose to her then one day she said she wanted to take a break to figure things out that was about four years ago she got married about two years after her break to a co-worker who i later found out she had been cheating on me with the whole time we were together I was devastated at the time, but now I think it was all for the best. Also, it's a small world because her husband is cheating on her with someone I know. Thanks, Karma. Pepe, 30. Oh my gosh, I want to read that again. Number two, the phone theme. I was with a boyfriend for seven years and he started spending a lot of time with his best friends from childhood, in quotation marks whom I had never met or heard of before. One day I was waking up and asked to see his phone to check the time. He handed it to me and it opened into WhatsApp where I discovered he had been sending naked pictures of himself to all his childhood friends. When he realized he had handed me his unlocked phone, he pounced on me like a tiger, took his phone back and broke it with his bare hands he bent it back and forth and twisted it until it snapped, but I had already seen everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's terrible. David, 37. If he was spending time with them and then sending dick pictures and, and naked pictures of himself, so most likely him and his childhood friends were doing the electric boogie. Three, when two wrongs make a right. A month into our relationship, I cheated on my boyfriend with an ex. He found out and when I was away on a trip, he arranged to confront my ex so they could beat the crap out of each other. They instead ended up becoming best friends. Lalo, 27. That's horrible. I would hate for that to happen. The Twitter leaks. I had a boyfriend who was particularly jealous and controlling. He even told me that he was really bothered when I went out with my friends. He will always criticize the atmosphere and how men are only looking for sex, everyone but him. In the final days of our relationship, someone posted a bunch of pictures and videos of him cheating on me on Twitter. That was when I realized that all his preaching was only to hide that he had no loyalty no willingness to commit and he was a hypocrite doing exactly what he condemned ted 27 it's another gay relationship i've 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 experienced that before myself it's usually the ones that the ones that talk the most shit the ones that are always on your ass just like this dude those are the ones that are suspect the very close friend around two years ago an ex-boyfriend had a very close friend and they'd known each other since kindergarten uh-oh they were like brothers that boyfriend and i had just moved in together one day i caught them in our brand new room naked the rest is pretty obvious more than making me angry it made me laugh because both of their families would poke fun at their sexuality when they were together <laughs> I ended up leaving the apartment. I think they still live there and they're about to get married. Oh my God. Eczema 24. The obsessed ex. Asshole told the other girl that I was his ex-girlfriend and that I was obsessed with him. He told me that she was just a really intrusive friend. It's been half a year since we broke up and now He's the obsessed boyfriend, Natalia, 20. You just, you can't trust people. Four is a crowd. I started dating my coach at the gym. We were together for around eight years. And I was so in love that I didn't want to realize that he wasn't just dating me because yes, I always knew that I wasn't the only one. And so one time during a trip in which while he was taking a shower, I took a look at his phone and surprise, found out I wasn't just one more girl. There were four of us. Obviously didn't want to accept it until I mustered up the strength and left him. I recently learned that out of the four of us, two are still dating him. Beery, 29. That's so sad. The mind state that she was in for eight years. 
That's so sad. The nerve of this one. When I was in college, I was in a seven month relationship, seven of which were filled with every possible form of infidelity. After breaking up with him, one of my best friends confessed to me that every time they went out partying, they would compete to see who kissed more women that night. Yo, and the best friend just, just, just went along with it? That's not a best friend. That's not, his best friend is, is committing the crime with him and didn't tell him until later that's not a friend. All right. When they did, he had to ask my ex-boyfriend to stop. He had to ask my ex-boyfriend to stop. Oh, wow. Because not only did he beat everyone, he would also get super intense and cheeky with the girls to the point in which it became embarrassing and degrading. Wow. After each party, he would come back to my place and sleep with me like a little angel. Ew. Yuri, 24. Oh my gosh. Okay. Number nine, a rough year. I married a man who was 26 years older than me. We've been living together for four years and we decided to get married. But he was already seeing another woman. What? I found out a week after getting married and then after I dumped him... I was diagnosed with cancer and had to face the Mexico City earthquakes. This last year hasn't been nice at all. What? Damn. This is Sophia 31. I came up to this park for privacy. And there's like, I don't know if these are drug deals going on. I don't know what's going on around me. But there's people pulling up on my left and my right leaving and then someone else pulls up then they leave and someone else pulls up and they leave someone else pulls up left and right side there's more people over here i don't know what they're doing i don't know if they're cleaning their cars out i don't know if they're doing drug deals i don't know if they're they're tricking there's construction trucks and and dumpster trucks and the the u.s postman there's people with babies and dogs and shit yeah, she's she's cleaning out her trunk. Okay. One dude pulled up and just sat in the car. I don't He looked like a hitman. I'm going to have to find a better spot tomorrow. Cuz this is this is creeping me out. There's too much movement going on that and I just I don't know what they're doing. The girl he said not to worry about this one time a girl was hitting on my boyfriend but she was a friend of a friend and he would tell me don't worry nothing's gonna happen she's cool she later became my friend oh no about a month or so later i learned that my boyfriend and her would have sex at his place during holidays ha 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 she laughing we broke up and they got into the most toxic relationship ever thank you Brenda, 23. During the holidays. Now, they mean holiday as in like on the weekend. Because I know some places like in the UK, they'd be like, you know, going for a holiday. Like it, it's just, you know, their holiday is more frequent. Our holiday is like Martin Luther King Day. Their holiday is like four times a month. So I don't know what holiday they got they talking about here. But um, that's just gross this female became her friend okay projection much i went to france on vacation with my best friend three days in my boyfriend started texting me saying that i was probably cheating on him with every european guy i met he would ask what i was doing the entire time and all he would do was accuse me of cheating on him when i was actually really busy sightseeing see i i know I know what she's going through. And I, I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen next. One day I got sick of it and said to him, you're nagging me so much about this. That is probably you who's cheating on me. Exactly. Exactly. 
that's when he confessed that it was actually him who had gone out with another girl during my trip because he felt so lonely and that I'd, and and that it had just been some girl he met and that he hadn't seen her again afterwards he let it slip that he was going to delete her from all social networks and whatsapp that's why i realized they were still in touch see i know about that that staying in touch bullshit too i know i know all about that they want to stay in touch but there's nothing wrong with that right mm, not nothing at all we broke up and a week later he started dating that girl d24 see what i mean number 12 the imposter a few years ago i was the other woman one day the guy who was having an affair with me let me spend the night oh that's nice the next morning he left to buy breakfast and his mother stopped by to visit okay she knocked on the door and since i wasn't answering she walked into the room and i had to cover myself completely i changed my voice and told her i'm laura that's his girlfriend's name she knew oh my god oh my god she bought it and waited for roberto to arrive why would a mom be coming in the room like that so i had to lock myself in the room while i listened to the excuses roberto came up with to explain why laura wasn't having breakfast with them she knew she knew all about laura i just don't understand i don't understand why all right we're not here to judge recently deleted i had a very strange boyfriend who liked taking pictures while we had sex because i don't know he was very egocentric and thought we looked good one day i decided to delete the pictures because i realized how stupid they were turns out the idiot didn't know that phones have a recently deleted folder besides deleting said pictures i ended up finding nudes from other girls and nudes he was sending it broke my heart whoever thinks sexting other people while you're in a serious relationship doesn't count as infidelity say that to my face and we'll beat the crap out of each other ramona 20 yeah sexting is cheating it is i've been in a relationship for five years with someone who's married and I've had sex in the house where he lives with his wife. Paula, Paula, 30. Five years though, five years. Oh my gosh. Next one. It was fate, my friend. I met my best friend in high school. We were 15 and were still BFFs. One day we were on a bus cruising through a nearby town and I told her I used to have a boyfriend here when I was 13. 13. To which she replied, I lived here too when I was that age. What was your boyfriend's name? I told her he was called Stuart and she was like, oh, and then started laughing because it was the same guy, meaning he dated both of us at the same age long before we knew each other. Oh my gosh. Maria, a 30. A lose-lose situation. I went to Germany to visit my boyfriend. Ooh, okay. While I was there, my longtime crush started texting me. My longtime crush? Okay. <laughs> crush started texting me and telling me to leave my boyfriend for him. What? I broke up with my boyfriend during the trip. What? Went back to Mexico and started dating the other guy, her crush. We had to break up shortly after because he hooked up with a girl during a party and got her pregnant. I was left with no German boyfriend and no crush, D24. Oh my word, why? Why? There's so many things wrong with this story. I just, number 17. 
she cheated on me with the trainer at the gym that I was paying for. Daniel 24. That's messed up. That is so wrong. Just dirty. The long distance lout. For four months, I dated a French guy who was doing an internship in Mexico City. After the third or fourth time spending the night at his place, I learned he had a girlfriend in France. Scumbag. Mm. The idea made me a little uncomfortable. A little. But we kept seeing each other a few more months. Why? Because I arrived at the conclusion that his relationship and his life over there were completely irrelevant to me. That means you need to not be with him. Like, yeah, you're irrelevant. So you need to, you need to stop seeing him. See how she rationalized that? That's how cheaters think. They just come up with outlandish shit. Like, it don't even have to make sense to anyone else. It don't even make sense to them. Somehow they, they come up with these excuses to rationalize and make it okay. Do you see these people behind me? Oh gosh. Yes, I know I'm at a public facility, but I just wasn't expecting all this. All right, so after not hearing from him for several weeks, I ran into him at a party after the party, I assumed we would leave together as we used to. But that night he said no, because he respected his girlfriend too much. So I guess he was trying to do better. I said to him, bitch, please, that stopped, that stopped happening a long time ago. Right after that, we took an Uber to his place and hooked up again. Yuri, 24. He never broke it off. When my ex-boyfriend started going out with me, he told me he had dated a girl before, but that he had dumped her after meeting me. Okay. We were in a relationship for a year and three months and we broke up because he never stopped dating her. What? Oh my God. She contacted me and told me that he had never broken up with her. Anonymous 22. Okay, this is the last one. My former boyfriend worked in the same company, but in a different department. And one day, another guy from my department started hitting on me, okay? He knew I had a boyfriend and he didn't care. We would sneak out and go to the movies, okay? See each other in secret and no one ever caught us. He even befriended my ex, that was weird. He befriended your ex to, well, for one, if he befriends your ex, that gives him a pass to be next to you and it's not going to look weird, you know? And, and two, it just makes the whole thing just look better. I decided to break it off, but it was very intense, even if it lasted like three months. And I keep thinking that he's the love of my life. Carla, 35. All right, so this was a good group of stories. I liked it because it had the cheaters and their stories and also the victims, the people that had been cheated on, they had their own stories too, so. Thanks for watching and I think I'm gonna do some more videos like this because it was fun and I'm like really fascinated with relationships, especially relationships that go wrong and cheating and f infidelity and liars and all that kind of stuff it's just it's, it's fascinating to me so mm -hmm.